So understand this is that there is no sin in this world. Why do I say that? Because when you understand that sin is an illusion, you will then come to the understanding of your divinity. Understand that everything that you call good and evil is an illusion. That's why when it talks about the very perception of Judgment Day and this man was like, but Lord, I did all of this and I, 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 I gave to the poor. I helped somebody across the street and I inspired so many people in the world. He was like, I never knew you because he, that person right there was basing his righteousness. He was basing his divinity off of his works. That's why it says in the Bible, you cannot be righteous by the works of the law. And so you have to understand now, just like you can't be righteous by your works, right? You can't be a sinner by your works either because that's not in your nature. That's not in your nature. Your nature, it tells you in the Bible, you was perfectly and marvelously made in the image of the Most High, of the Supreme Essence. So your nature is divinity. Just because you sin, right? The, the actual perception of what, when we're dealing with sin is just missing the mark, which means you might make a mistake here and there, right? But nonetheless, your nature is perfection. That's the whole key of it here. When, once you understand that you are one and one with the divine essence of the universe, you're not going to just want to do anything with your body. You, you're not just going to go out and do whatever you want to do because you understand that you are the temple of God. You understand your value and who you are.